G'day family, my name is Joseph and today I am here with Amy and so today is Friday the 13th of December. It is so uh, yeah, so <laughs> now, now um, I don't think Amy knows anything about it, but there's always like this movies about Friday the 13th. There's always like a, you know, 13 is a funny number and then Friday. So there's always like these movies, okay? Really? Yeah, so uh, we, we don't watch movies like that. <laughs> but. Uh, I want to tell you today is the Lord that the day that the Lord has made and yes. this day is blessed there's no curses on today today is a day where Lord, the Lord is going to heal people restore people get people saved get people transformed remember the kingdom of God is always higher and higher in authority than any curses that the enemy can speak and so today is not a day of curses today is a day of blessing all right so <laughs> this there's a nice introduction for uh, today and so today I want to minister to uh, 10 people and uh, if you'd also like to receive ministry in this format you can put your name on the list and then I will schedule you and it will probably be me and Amy uh, will minister to you maybe Ian we'll see how it goes uh, but uh, I would love then to minister to you I, I try to minister every day to 10 people all right so uh, let's start with Amanda van der Jeffe all right Amanda just like the Israelites had to cross the Jordan and take territory I feel the Lord says 2025 is a time of taking territory and so the Lord has already given you the desire and is giving you the, 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 the direction but now I feel the Lord is going to send the, the angel of the army of hosts and he's going to give you very clear direction specific things that he wants you to do now in the case of the the children of israel they had to go to gilgal then they had to be circumcised then they had to go to jericho and they had to walk around jericho and i feel in the same way the lord says that you're going to walk around the territory that he's going to give to you and you're going to shout and praise the lord and the lord is going to do a supernatural miracle for you and release that territory to you God bless you. Amen. God bless you. God loves you. This next word is for Anthony. Anthony, while praying for you, I saw how, you know, in the movies where like um, the person's trying to get like good posture or is training and has to do something fancy, but like balance a bunch of books and that person on his head. And I just saw how you had a lot of books on your head. And, and I just saw how... Um, you started with one and then it became two and three and now you got like these eight books but i just feel the lord says um because you're faithful and consistency i'm going to carry this with you and i'm making you so strong to carry my glory and you are going to be a um you're really going to lead a lot of people to my presence because i'm going to do impossible amazing thing things through you and it's not going to be from your strength but it's going to be the strength through me i will give you might and i'm going to give you joy i just feel there's a lot of joy that God is bringing back and it was there was a lot of serious things that happened in 2024 but I just feel the Lord says 2025 is a calling of joy and that might and that strength and a lot of things that you that God desires in your heart where, that you are like God I don't know if it's possible but I'm going to believe in you I just feel the Lord says keep on believing uh, I really feel there's a lot of breakthroughs that God is going to do specifically financial God loves you God bless you yeah, Anthony, I see how the Lord is turning on the, the volume and how you take how he takes you out of solitude uh, into the center of where the action is. And so 2025 is going to be busy for you, but it's also going to be a time of a lot of joy and a lot of blessing. God bless you, Anthony. All right, so the next word is for Emery. All right, Emery, uh, the first thing the Lord, the Lord showed me a cup of, of honey and how you were drinking that, that honey. Uh, and what the Lord was saying to me is that He is giving you sweetness, sweetness of His presence, sweetness of uh, financial blessing, uh, sweetness of family joy. And then the second thing that the Lord showed me was a road trip. And it looked to me like you had a very good friend, uh, someone that you knew from a long time that went with you uh, on this road trip. And it was just amazing. You guys had so much fun and it helped you to open up uh, your, your vision, your perspective. Uh, but it also helped you to connect with people that the Lord wanted to connect with, uh, with you. And, but I felt that this person that you went with uh, was uh, someone that you knew from a long time. The Lord also showed me the two of you looking at a road map. And I felt that road map was uh, both physical but also spiritual of this is where I'm leading and this is where you're going. 
Uh, then I'll just third say, I don't know if you do art, Emery, but I just feel that you are going to enjoy so much to do art and you're going to feel God's presence in Him talking to you as you wow. do art. God bless you, Emery. Wow, that is so cool. God bless you, Auntie Emery. We love you. This next word is for Walter. Walter, God, the Lord loves you very much. And while praying for you, I saw a picture of a boat and how this was your boat, right? And how there were holes in it and how you were really like trying to get the water out, but you needed to, um, you needed to like fill in the holes basically and it but it was kind of in this situation you were like helping other people in their boats and their situations but i just saw how god um, came to you and how you sorted this thing out and then you got so much wisdom out of it and then you went out and you started like your business was people were paying you um or you and you were helping people to sort out their boats and and how um you 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 just you just fixed it and just by doing that it was like you were making a network of people um i don't know if it's clients but they were going to be very, very faithful for you um and really there for you when you need them and i, I just feel the lord is really giving you wisdom of how you can um um, really bring something or make your product even better um, for what you're doing for your business. So I just, I just really feel the wisdom of God is with you. And I just feel the Lord says um, what you're doing, um, a lot of people's going to um, support you with this. So I just feel the Lord says, keep on do going. Don't give up. I'm working with you. God bless you. Walter, I just want to add, uh, I see you buying and selling. And you know, some people, they'll sometimes buy a house, fix it, sell it again. Some people buy diamonds uh, and then they get it certified and then they sell it for a profit again. Or you get sometimes people, they would, uh, I know Pastor Jack, they sometimes buy a chipboard uh, and sell it or you will buy trailers. I think this, uh, is, he at one point bought like almost 10 trailers and then he sold it for a profit, but he bought it on an auction. Um, there's all kinds of stuff that people buy and sell, you know, uh, but I felt that the Lord is going to give you something Something where you can see wow if I just have a little bit of capital I can buy that when a when a bargain comes on and then I can put it back onto uh, for market uh, price uh, back onto the market and then sell it uh, as people need it and, and I see how you start to have a additional income like a second income stream uh, but it's not small things it's not a lot of small things it's a little bit bigger bigger things. I don't know if it's necessary like a house or a flat or something like that, uh, but it's definitely something more on the expensive side that you buy and then you wait for the right moment and you sell. I know of someone, they sometimes buy big tools like a, a, a turntable or a big um, industrial equipment uh, when they get it like when a business goes bankrupt and then they sell it again at, at uh, you know, they clean it and then they sell it at a higher price. And, and I, But I feel you're going to find something and you can do that. Okay. Then, Walter, I, I see how the enemy is trying to come and hold onto you. It's trying to influence your thoughts. And the Lord is taking the, the sword of the Spirit and He's just cutting in your life uh, those things of the flesh off. And the Lord is teaching you how to walk according to the Spirit and to clearly hear the voice of God. Walter, the, love, the Lord loves you very, very much. God bless you. Okay, um, Maxine. Okay, so Maxine, uh, the Lord showed me uh, a baptism pool. And you know, in the baptism pool, when we go into the water, the old man dies with Christ and the new man rise up uh, into a new life in Christ. But what I saw, I saw a new Maxine. And like the old Maxine was good for uh, this last five years, the things that you did, for, for the things uh, that, you know, your work that you did, the, the, the goals that you had for your life. But I see that the Lord says, this is now time for the new Maxine to be birthed. And even as you are born, the Lord is giving you a very specific blueprint. And He's saying to you, this is the way you should go. And I see big, big changes come, but it all starts here. And I remember in the Bible, there's a story uh, in, I think it is in Acts chapter 9, about Saul. And how Saul saw this bright light, and then he couldn't see, and then he was uh, there in Damascus, and then Ananias came and prayed for him. Uh, his eyes opened up, scales fell from his eyes, and then he could clearly see. Uh, and then the Lord told him to, to go and preach the gospel. So that, like this, almost immediately, he started preaching the gospel. So he went almost from this direction to the next direction. And I just felt that the Lord says that you've passed the test, 
that you have overcome that I'm promoting you out of the old Maxine and I'm promoting you into the new Maxine with a new blueprint and a clear vision for the future but the Lord has prepared you because he's placed desires in you but I see now that breakthrough and a transition coming in your life God bless you Maxine Here we go. bless you Maxine just while uh, my dad was praying for you I saw a picture of how God really like crowned you and if I could describe it it was like a golden crown it was so beautiful and the dreams were um, purple and blue so I just it just really stood out for me God loves you God bless you Maxine this next word is for uh, Sebenele Sebenele the Lord loves you so much and I just feel the Lord says fruitful let your actions um, how do you know if if, if um if something is good, well, look at, look at the fruits. What is the fruit that it's producing? And I just feel the Lord says that your fruit is going to bless a lot of people, your actions, and what are you producing, what you are giving. And I just feel the Lord says, don't doubt yourself. Um, just keep on doing it um, out of the fruits of the Holy Spirit, and you're going to see a lot of harvests in your lives. And I just saw a lot of things that you were sowing, and you were trusting for, and you were boldly giving, and you were kind of doubting, like, am I giving too much? Is this, um, is this even worth it? Because, you know, like the scripture don't give your pearls to the to the swine and I, I just feel the lord says no 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 keep on going um i'm i'm calling you to be generous because i want to bless you um even more and i just feel how you're really making it yourself so available to for god to work in your life so i just, I just want to encourage you don't doubt yourself because god has given you the holy spirit and god is really going to use you um in this time for 2025 for a lot of harvests god loves you specifically in relationships ministry and business God loves you. God bless you. Hey, Seminelli, God bless you. His hand is upon you. Yes. Breakthrough, breakthrough, breakthrough. Yes. Okay, just stand in faith. Uh, don't be discouraged. Okay, God bless you. The, the Lord is touching your whole family. Also, also the, the ones close to you. Okay. So the next word is for David Indiger. Okay, David, the Lord is showing to me how he is giving you contacts and a network of authority. And, you know, sometimes you see some of these famous... Um, uh, interviewers or, or journalists and I would go and, and meet presidents and owners of big corporations and they would be in contact with people in high places, people with authority <clears throat> and I feel the Lord says I'm connecting you in a network where you're going to meet people that has a lot of authority and through that process you are going to learn and you're going to gain that same authority and the Lord says that's what I have for you and that's why I'm giving you that exposure also in your life and I felt that the Lord says you're not only going to be a businessman you're going to be a man in business uh, with authority and also uh, in uh, um, influencing government and so the Lord is really uh, raising you up as a leader you have been faithful uh, but the Lord says you've also been through very hard times and you think how oh, is this all possible but the Lord says through me all things are possible God bless you Amen. God loves you. God bless you. This next word is for Christina. Um, Christina, God loves you so much and you are so precious to him. And I just feel God has is, is called you to be like such a beautiful messenger of his love. And I just feel the Lord has given you a vibrant heart. And it was like the enemy tried to... Um, make life very bland and, and, and sad and I just feel how the, the joy and the color of God comes through you and how God uses you to light up the room and you and you go against the darkness and I, I just feel how the Lord says that um, I've called you to be, you, you know in Psalms where it says God places us by the lilies of the valley um, by, next to the river and it was like there were two rooms that was available for you, the one room by the lilies of the valley, by this river, it's beautiful. And the second room was like a desert and there were prickly um, cactuses. And I just feel how you have such a compassionate heart and you thought, okay, let's go here. But I just feel the Lord clearly saying to you, that's not really where you're supposed to be. And all those people that are there, I, I want you just to lay them at my feet and I want you to dwell um, at the place by the lilies of the valley and, and keep on praying for those people. But know that I have a plan so i just feel the lord is really uh, taking you to a time of letting go and to keep on praying and interceding for them um, and, and just coming into his rest uh, i just i just really want to encourage you god has a plan for those people in your life and god wants to place you by the river in his peace god loves you so much god bless you 
Hey, Christina, God bless you. Uh, you have been a blessing to me in my life and it was always nice the few times where I saw you uh, being part of Unity with Heaven. So that's why I, I was thinking about you and I put your name on the list. Alright, so the next person I want to minister to is Layla. Uh, Layla, uh, remember with the, uh, the prayer where we pray in Romans chapter 12 is one where it says, Present yourself as a living sacrifice. Uh, in that process, the Lord gives us a lot of authority and He uh, restores us. And I feel that the Lord says, I'm putting my crown of authority, my headship, on you. And I'm putting my government on your shoulders. And the Lord says, I'm strengthening your arm and your hand. And you know, with our hand, we lay it on a sick and they recover. With our hand, we work uh, and the Lord prosper the work of our hands. Uh, but when we work, we don't do it in our own strength. We do it in the strength of God because we can trust in God. And I felt that the Lord is saying to you that I'm giving you my supernatural strength so that you can overcome and that you can prosper and you can experience that covering, uh, that authority that God is giving to you and that blessing that He releases into your life. And the Lord says, Layla, you will not be alone, but you will be surrounded with people that love you very much. Layla, God bless you. Amen. God bless you. This next word is for us, Sharika. Sharika, I don't know if this is your leg or someone else's leg, but I just feel like there, there's someone's leg is going to get healed. Um, so I, I really want to encourage you. God is going to do amazing healing in your life or you're just going to be part of it. I, I just feel like, I don't know if it's yours or if there's a person in your life uh, or even a friend that you're going to pray for to receive healing for that person's leg. And then I, I feel the Lord says that I am bringing an increase of faith into your heart but also now is the time um, we're, in, we're now in December it's holiday season and I, I just feel the Lord is really giving you a spark in your heart to start really um, developing your skills but also working on your health because you're going to need more energy for 2025 and I just feel God is really giving you uh, strategies and he's really going to help you um, with, with exercising so that you can have more energy and strength for 2025 and then also feel like God is calling you to to really learn some more skills and he's giving you desires in your hearts and I just feel the Lord says with man it's impossible where with me nothing is impossible so I just feel that God is really giving you um, the skills and the wisdom and God is, is really going to help you with the studying time in your life whatever you're studying whether it's uh, an actual subject or a course or with a mentor or with a friend um, God is really calling you to develop your skills so he can open up some amazing doors into your life um, don't let fear the chains of fear holds you back god has such big plans for you god loves you god bless you okay Sherika, god bless you yeah i feel that the lord is leading you into his rest uh, yeah. and family uh, how the rest of god works is we sit on in him in heavenly places we trust in him and we are obedient to him so that means we don't have the stress of making decisions for our life because it's very difficult when you think I have to make the right decisions so I am successful and I do what God has called me. All we have to do is we say to the Lord, Lord, you in charge, you make the decisions and we will be obedient and we will trust you. And so with the moment you are obedient, then you enter into the rest. In Hebrews we, we read the, that the, the Israelites could never enter into the rest of God because of their disobedience. But the moment we become obedient to God, then we enter into rest. And I feel, Sherika, that's what God is doing to you. And, and family, each one of us are invited to walk in God's rest. And the Lord wants to give it to us. All right. uh, so, uh, family, it was a pleasure for me and Amy to minister to you. I want to encourage you, go and check out Amy's channel, Amy Storm. She posts worship music on there. Just go and give her a comment. She will really appreciate it. And then, of course, I have a channel, Unity yes. with Heaven, where I do teachings. All right. And I try to put the teachings in a story way so it's both you can learn something and it can also be entertaining okay uh, because on youtube uh, people like things that are entertaining if if, if it's a uh, little boring and it's just teaching like that then they quickly click away so that's why i try to make it a little bit more compatible for for most people so they can really receive the the, the word of god and something that that can help them to grow spiritually and so i love people and i want to make it easy for them to receive from god so that's that's the strategy well, family, uh, I love and appreciate each one of you. If you'd also like to receive ministry in this format, write your name in the comments and I'll add you uh, to the schedule. As we speak right now, uh, I am about, I only have about six names for tomorrow and then that's all the names yeah. I have. But tonight we have ministry. Uh, it starts at half past seven 
uh, and hopefully there's going to be a few more names that's going to be added so I can at awesome. least have people's names for Saturday and Sunday. Alright, so family, I love each one of you. Have a fabulous weekend and uh, hopefully I see you tonight. God bless you. Friday the 13th. So Friday the 13th. Oh. Thank you for joining Unity with Heaven. Remember to subscribe, like, comment and join our newsletter. If you want to support us, please click on the PayPal link. May God bless you abundantly. Remember, you are valuable and we love and appreciate each one of you. If you enjoyed this content and you want to see more, please click here.